my teeth out of the way. Um, we're just waiting for the one and only Adriana Rodriguez Brown to join us. Hey, people. We're just waiting for our guest. Um, there is. There you are. Just need to do this little thing, folks. I'm tuning in quick. Folks. And it's Wendy. Hey. Hi. Oh, look at you. Yeah. I'm looking like I yesterday's news. Like, don't do a thing. <laughs> See? I'm looking like yesterday's news. You like looking all glamour. Dynasty. Alexis mm -hmm. Jackson. Diane Carroll. Don't be my little child. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling the people I tried real hard to find a cute sunspot. Then I couldn't see my phone because the sun was glaring in my face. So I think I'm in a halfway decent spot. Hey, folks, I'm on the University of Washington's campus. I'm practicing my physical distancing, but I had to get out of the house today. Um, yes, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. I wanted to be outside also, but there's crazy wind here. And flowers, petals, and birds caught in the wind. So I figured I'd stay inside. <laughs> right. Somebody said go back to what spot? I don't know, Dominique. What spot? Um, I don't know. Wherever you just were, right now you're very pixelated. Um, there you go. That looks nice. Okay. I do have Wi-Fi because I do work on a campus, but I'm not in the space where I get good Wi-Fi. So I don't know. If I'm pixelated, sorry, y'all. Um, we are speaking to the one, the only, Aviana Rodriguez Brown. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Thank you, because I can butcher your name. Um, and I can butcher my own name, <laughs> which is so sad. Yes, this. Okay, I'm going to stay right here. I feel like I'm just going to walk past people like, why is this person posing? Um, <laughs> hey, if you have not joined us before. This is our physical distancing intimate conversations. Um, I am Danny Terrell. I am the curator with Central District Forum for Arts and Ideas. Um, yeah, we started these conversations uh, the first weekend in April as a way to talk to artists, specifically Black artists, um, about what is going on um, since a lot of gigs and a lot of work has been canceled. Um, and even on top of that, uh, what I'm finding out is that y'all should just know these people. It, it is, it's even less about canceled gigs and work. It's about really like you should get to know these folks and you should give money to these folks um, because their brains are awesome and black and brown folks are extremely resilient. And I really hate using that word, but that's the word that I have right now. And speaking of a resilient person, we have somebody that we're talking to right now. Um, first question, I, I asked the first question, how are you, but how are you for real? Don't give me the like, I'm okay answer, like, let's get some real, like, how are you for real? How am I for real? Um, I am overwhelmed, I am underworked, I am <laughs> working on uh, self-acceptance of being underworked. Um, because so much of my time as a stage manager, as a performer, as an artist in general, it's like, if you're not working, you're not, there's this mentality of if you're not working, then you're not viable of some sort, you're right. not doing it, you're not worth something. And so I'm, I've been breaking the cycle these last few weeks of no, 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 you're doing whatever work you need to be doing. It's right. totally fine. You shouldn't be doing other people's work anyways. Exactly. You know? why am I not working for myself? And so all the things that I've pushed to the side because of other people's work, I've now brought to the surface. And I feel like I'm more in tune with myself than I have ever been. Um, right. My relationship with my hair is banging. 
It smells so it. good. It smells so 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 good. Awesome. Um, if this wouldn't have happened, would you really have taken the time out to start looking at yourself and and doing your own self growth and work? Um, I would say yes. It would have been a slower, definitely on a slower um, stream, streamline. I was already looking at kind of changing my artistic focus, and I'm, I'm currently writing more than I ever have been. And that's something that I was planning to do this right. summer. <laughs> I didn't plan on starting it in March. And so I had to sort of jumpstart into everything. Well, I didn't have to, but um, right. that was what I started doing. And yeah, I don't think I would have taken the time. I don't think I would have slept this much or danced this much. I haven't danced this much since I was in college. And your dance yes. classes with um, my friends on the East Coast, um, and some people here, even Christ Art here in Seattle, yes. they have a fine dance course that you can take on your own time. So I think that being able to appreciate art that I haven't been a part of in so long has really helped to rejuvenate my body and my mind and my spirit, right. which I wouldn't have been able to do if I was working as much as I had planned to be working. Exactly. Hey, everybody, like, this is the most active comments we've ever had on an Instagram live chat. Uh, I love it. Keep the comments going. I may not get to all of them because it's too many, y'all. Okay, sorry. It's windy where I'm at. I may have to listen. Boom. It's sunny and windy. Whatever. Uh, it's the elements. Um, thank you for your comments. Um, how has this affected the people that you know that are artists, even that are not artists? How have how has this affected people that you know, um, in the food industry or people in your family, just folks around? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's affected people in my family because I mean, <laughs> one second. This friend is not my friend right now. I'm gonna have to like get behind the tree. Okay, go. Um, well, for here in my family, um, I come from a family of hunters. Uh, mm. All my peanut butter is on my head. We have the bear back here. Um, Love it. And my grandfather is extremely disheartened. This is deer se uh, turkey season. It was canceled along with everything else. Everything yes. is canceled. Um, I feel like every single person that I know not only in the art industry, but like everyone is so affected and we don't know what to do about it and we don't know how to handle it. My grandfather um, has been tearing, you know, things apart. And it's funny to see in an older generation where they are so active right. and they are a part of things and he's very much an elder in his community where people come to him for questions and he's had to learn to say, no, 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 thank you, thank you. I ask questions from across the yard and things like that. And um, so that changing of mindset is on the autistic side, we are trying to learn how to do what it is that we do, create magic and give it to people, and how to successfully do that and keep everyone that we love safe. Um, and that's been hard. There's a, right. a, a coalition of people who gather together to create online um, institutions like soul tv on facebook is something where people can go live and perform and there's people waiting to watch um yeah. there's also different theater companies around town how to set up live streaming um situation different theater companies and producers have been holding rehearsals online i've had right. a lot of rehearsals online for musicals that is coming up soon and we're hoping that we can at, at any time whenever things are lifted and things feel safe and we feel comfortable we're hoping that we can perform it but in reality we don't know if we'll ever be able to really perform it the way that we want to for exactly. me I don't do film on purpose. I love live theater. I love energy exchange. I love feeling, hearing the audience when they're willing to speak up and react. And this is gonna change my world. Right. 
I hear you. The, nothing like the live theater. Big shout out to Sandra Jackson Dumont for joining us. I'm like, we got the heavy hitters in the room today. Thank you, Seattle Times, forgot. for. Yes. <laughs> yes, we're about they to make... really out for us. Yes. I have to mention also the food makers. The um, I've worked for a catering company for 10 years. And yes. they've had to not only let go of employees, close down one of their two restaurants, but also they are now delivering groceries across the state. We are um, making ready-made foods, dinners, things like that. They have a menu that they send out, a rotating menu every two weeks. And things like that are amazing. Um, right. People are coming together and kitchens are coming together to make food for people who need it. And Honestly, I wouldn't have known that so many people in my own building where I live at the Liberty Bank building yes. in Seattle, that so many people in my community were also under underwhelmed and under um, duress on a normal basis. Right. And now that we know that we have a little running list, we have a Facebook group, you know, hey, I have this, who, who needs it? What can we do? Hey, um, this kitchen over here has meals. I'm going to go pick mine up. Does anyone else need some? So the community is really coming together and it's beautiful. Exactly. I The, the thing I love about black folks, because um, we are a black program and I'm talking about black folks, and I see it also in the Latinx community, is that when one is down, we are all down. And so we do what we can to try to lift each other up. And people can talk about there's tension with black and brown bodies and there's infighting, but there's that moment where we like, okay, I may not like you today, but I'm not going to have you starve, <laughs> you know? It's like, I will fight you tomorrow, but you're not going to starve today. So um, that, that, that has been such a beautiful thing to watch and to witness also. Um, okay, I'm just going to ask the question the way that it's coming to me. Um, what do you hope will change after this as far as Black artists are concerned, and Latinx artists, because I want to make sure we bring in all sides of yourself. <laughs> um, yes. Just so if anyone doesn't know, my mother is Mexican American, my father is African American. I consider myself Afro Latina. Um, so Afro Latinx, because I'm also non binary at times. Yes. I go by she, they pronouns. <clears throat> Anyways, back to your question. Um, how. I would love to see just culturally based theater communities, groups pop up out of it because that's what's happening. There's um, a Latin group that is putting together a Latin only bilingual Shakespeare project right now. Um, I was working on a black only um, Shakespeare project before all this happened. So there's a yeah. lot of things that were already in the mix of, hey, you know what? Um, white America does not see us as equal, fine. We'll show you that not only can we take your art and do it better, but we don't want you in our art. As much right. as you don't want us in your art, we're not going to give you the space you won't give us. And right. so it's, like, it's really hard because there are some communities out there, um, some white institutions out there that are making space, that want to include us, that want us to be part of the community that want to hear how and what we want to bring to life, but it's not enough. And exactly. if they're not going to give us a space, I believe that we should take our own space, create what's there for us, and make things the way we need it to be made. Don't tell our story for us. Don't give us the platform. Let us tell our story. And we right. need to take back the reins. Right. So I keep saying this, I think, to everyone that I talk to, especially artists, the most beautiful thing that's coming out of this is that, yes, I work with an institution, but the beautiful part about this is, like, we can do this without institutions, without, like, the, even without the money. Like, yes, the money's great, but how people are being creative right now and how people are just like, okay, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do this, um, and I'm about to, like, transform my house into a theater or concert space, and I'm going to put my cash up up there, and folks are just giving folks money. So institutions, please understand that your importance is there, but it is not vital to the arts 
community anymore. And some mm -hmm. folks are going to probably fight me on that, but I really believe that the way I see people showing up and supporting each other, and thank you, Avi, for always supporting me and and CD Forum and the living room, because you are one of the people that you're showing up and you're supporting in ways that we need. Um, and how can people support you? Um, you know, it's funny because this is the one, as artists, I've always been struggling. Not gonna lie, I've always been struggling. I've always had a full-time job or going to right. school full-time and being an artist on the side. This last year was the first year I had been artist full time, um, and it was hard. So mm -hmm. I'm always struggling. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, people can always support me. Um, I've had people send me gift cards for like food places, or grocery stores. Those things are always welcome because <laughs> times are always hard. Um, this, right. this situation has brought it to the forefront. And we are um, definitely more visible about people's needs. I will say that right now, financially, I am doing very well. Um, but who knows how long that'll last, right? And that's the scarier part about this. Um, I don't have any jobs lined up. Every single one of my jobs for the next few months has been canceled or postponed right. or is in the air. So as of right now, I have no viable income. Um, and that's scary. So, um, if people want to financially support, I am more than welcome. I can. I think we have my cash app somewhere. Uh, I forgot to write it down and pin it down. I'm still learning the Instagram, but if you go on our uh, Facebook page, if you go on um, Instagram, I believe it's in our newsletter. We have all of your information. And even though Abby said that they are okay financially right now, again, still, still put some money in their pocket. Like, again, because everyone's turning to art right now because they have nothing else to turn to. So you are one of those people that folks should be turning to. Yay, thank you for uh, posting that, Cash App and Venmo. Um, what do you think, if anything, will change from the way that you process and move through art um, for yourself after mm -hmm. this? That's or a great question. This? Yeah, I've definitely been thinking about that because for me, art has always been for the energy, like I mentioned earlier. And something that existed in me is, well, now a lot of the art that I'm generating it's so interesting how it's a very slight change because it's always been for me. It's so business like and somehow it's in my brain. And it's sort of like sort of a I don't give a fuck in ways, like sort of, but I, right. I very much care. It's not I don't care, but it's more like it's for me. And so if you're willing to see it, hear it, read it, accept it, I appreciate that, I love that. But also know that this is 100% what I need. If it touches you in some way, or if it affects you in some way, or if it you, I'm just happy that you were willing and able to hear it so that you too can move forward. You too could process something. You too could heal in some form of the way that I need it. So it's definitely shifted to more, also don't forget about yourself. Also, let's remember right. where the art is coming from, the vessel. I'm not just the messenger, but I'm also the participant. Right. Um, thank you for that. Um, what, what, is, what, is, what is bringing you hope right now also? as you look out and you see people still creating or not creating, what is, what is that thing of you're just like, oh, that's bringing me so much hope right now? Mm -hmm. I think what you mentioned earlier is bringing me hope, just the, the fact that people are doing it, creating it, being a part of it, whether that means putting a sheet up in their back spare room and doing a little jig or 
right. going outside and expressing themselves in some way or creating some type of plate art, you know? It's just people are realizing that art is something that they need in their life, whether they've ever done it before or whether they're just tuning into it. Right. And that this is something that we can do without big money. We don't need the thing that we've been told we need. And that's so interesting because <laughs> especially in Seattle theater, there's this hierarchy of these are the top tiered theaters. These are like the medium range right. and this is fringe. And these are people trying to even be fringe. Don't exactly. even have a name, just doing something to do it. And guess what, y'all? <laughs> We're all doing it. <laughs> right, right. We are breaking the mold that we created and we can do it. And it's so funny because we're just proving ourselves, right? Because it taught us that we don't actually need those things we've been taught we needed. Right. We don't need the structure that was holding us in place. We are the art. Mm. The art is us. We don't need the right. yeah. to be the art. We don't need the audience seats to be the art. We can sit at a park, do it from afar, People can bring their own chairs, their own drinks, their own food. We can just do that. And that's right. new art. Thank you for that. Thank cool. you for that. What do you say to the the artists that are like, yo, I don't want to produce anything? Or even I'm I'm all, all also getting a sense of like people being angry that people are producing art or people are asking them to produce art. I was one of them, trust and believe. I was one of them people like, don't ask me to do anything. Um, and knowing that that's a choice, but I had to stop being angry about it and knowing like it is a choice. What do you say to those people, those artists, those producers, those folks that are, that used to create content that are sad and angry right now? I say I am me. I'm technically not producing anything. I mean, I'm writing right. a book, but no one's going to see it. Right? So, um, yeah, I'm technically you. I am angry because, you know, people have leaned on us to fuel them for so long. Right. And for one minute, I just need one minute, I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to let whoever the fuck else do whatever they want to do. Because... Right. It's your time to shine, sweetheart. You've been relying on me for so long. Go do that. Show me what you can do. <laughs> exactly. And that's sort of where I'm at. I'm like, cool, you want to produce something? Put that fire and let it fuel right. you. Go for it. I'm 100% right. in. And just as you've seen with like me watching your stuff, I, I'll watch. I'll participate. I'll listen. I'll even like comment. <laughs> but I'm not going to produce anything right now. And please don't rely on that. Right. right. <laughs> and there have been some people who um, kind of felt, have thought they were calling me out in some way. Like, hey, you're usually at the forefront of this. You're usually doing this. You know, you're uh, managing a venue. You're, you're this, you're that. We always see you at events, but we're not seeing anything from you right now. And I'm like, hmm, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Was there a point to this? <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. It's kind of hard because um, if you're just waiting for me to do something, I appreciate that. I am so thankful that I have people who are interested in my art, who are technically my fans or my family or however they want to see themselves to me. Um, it is very true. Right. And um, also, I need time. I need space. I need to breathe. I need to eat. Uh, and I'm right. just taking that time because I was thinking about it, Danny, for the last, I've been doing theater for 17 years, and for the majority of that time, it has been a hustle of me working my yes. And it's hard. 22 hours on my feet, or using my brain for 22 hours for 15, 16 years, I'm tired. And for I didn't $2 know an hour. Right. Mm -hmm. I said for $2 an hour. Exactly. <laughs> Let's just call it that. Um, I appreciated what you said about, like, this time period about rediscovering things about yourself and moving into things that you had been, like, 
not putting in the forefront. And, and the beautiful thing about this part, I think for myself was that just reclaiming dance for myself um, and remembering like that, oh, I started dancing because that's what I enjoy doing. And then it becomes this thing where people have these expectations of you and you start to hate the thing that you actually enjoy doing and love doing that's a part of you. And so this, this time off for me has been like, I need to be back in relationship with dance and movement and that practice. And it's less about like this content and what you need to see me doing. Um, what Outside of yourself, what are you getting back into relationship with? Music. Hey. I learned, I picked up a guitar for the very first time. I even, I was like, oh, I'm gonna jump in this. I'm gonna do this. And I probably touched it four times after I bought it. And so I, yes, Whitney, this is a tribute <laughs> right now. You just have to go plug in, but she's an amazing performer, singer, artist, player. And so, um, yeah, so I've been picking up guitar as my, my, my me time. And it has been really great to reconnect and to hear and feel the vibrations. Right. Um, I've also been transforming my poetry into song and EP. So that's pretty cool. And that's something that I've been pushing to the back. I've had my foot in the music scene for or I should say my foot in the water for a very uh -huh. long time. And I've been like, oh, singing Selena mean? covers, singing, singing Selena covers, <laughs> modeling for Bon Mache, you know, all the things, all the things. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. I've had toes in every pool, but I've never <laughs> fully emerged. And right. so I feel this is the time for me to actually put some things in a list and say, okay, I'm going to take these steps to move that, that portion of my career forward. These are the things that I need to do. I've been talking with agencies about signing for modeling since you brought it up. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's only All with your bio things. said, and you have been doing some photos here and there recently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. The All things that I was like, no, that's not me. I just do theater. I'm just a theater <laughs> artist. I, you know, I spent however much money going to school for theater, so that's the only thing that I do. And no, I'm just an artist. But it's all theater. Art just like clothes. Yes. <laughs> it is all theater. It is all theater. It is all, all movement. It is all creativity. And um, thank you for saying that, because I, again, we put ourselves in boxes of like, I just do this thing. Mm -hmm. And that is what I concentrated X amount of years of my life on. And, but it's this other thing that I did that I'm really interested in, but out of fear, out of just not, not having time, out of like, will I be able to do this? I don't do the thing. So thank you for reminding the people, you are not just one thing, especially black folks. You are not a monolith, not the next folks. You are not a monolith. You are some of everything, okay? You better hold your head up. Yes, yes, everybody. <laughs> Um, you are, um, I remember when we met, it was at a dance, this, and you were working backstage a few years, it was quite a few years ago, and I was like, who is this person? And I was like, I like them, we'll get to know each other eventually. Um, and it has been happening and happening. Say that again? I think that was about two and a half years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just every time I see you, you are a light for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we are getting close to our time. I want to again say that um, please go to our Instagram page or Facebook page or whatever and um, Zoom posing. Hey, you got to get that Zoom face correct. You cannot look. Cause I'm sitting over here. I know my phone is freezing, so that's why I'm up against this tree with a light <laughs> shining in a particular way. So if it freezes, it still looks good. Thank you, Abby. Um, please support um, Aviana Rodriguez Brown. Um, Cash App, Venmo, all of their information is there. Um, before I ask my final question, I have to do my little CD for us. I just want y'all to see the wings. Like, she is not my friend. I was trying to be cute. Like, I'm going to be outside and it's going to be cute. 
it's not cute, people. The wind is crazy. There's yes, Cash App Venmo and Smiling Abby. Yes. Can I tell you a quick little trick about that? So yes. everybody's buying these ring lights, right? Cute little ring lights, whatever. So I say get your butt up early and use the natural light. I'm just sitting here in front of a window, y'all. Yes. This is just window light. <laughs> Yes, I mean, it looks great, you know. <laughs> I agree. I just wanted to be outside. I was like, I just want to be outside, <laughs> and I—that's all. I won't make that mistake again I, on a non-windy day. Um, yes, Cash App Venmo at Smiling Avi. It's down there. Um, if you want to know what's happening, thank you both. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this Wednesday we have a. <laughs> A showing of Mama Muse, a viewing party for Mama Muse, which is by Monique Franklin. That is a 3 p.m. Uh, showing and a 6 p.m. showing. Um, check us out on Zoom and also Facebook Live. We will be doing the uh, um, viewing party of Mama Muse. Uh, May 5th and 6th is Give Big. Um, we at CD Forum, we're using our Give Big as a fundraiser for us. We are not trying to do a virtual fundraiser because it is a lot of work. I ain't gonna even lie. Um, and Nina um, Yarbrough has been working hard for that. And those are the things that's coming up. Capitol Hill Arts Festival, check out Showing Out. Uh, that is next Wednesday also. Look, it's a whole bunch of CD form stuff next Wednesday. Just start at 3 o'clock and get done about 10 o'clock at night. Okay? Just check out CD form. We'll be posting. I'll be um, outside of the cash shop. Is how else can folks reach you if they want to, like, just personally get in contact with you and, and get some love to you. If well, you we are on Instagram. So go ahead and if you go to my Instagram, either this smiling Avi or my modeling page, photo focus underscore ABI. Um, both of those have my email attached. So you shoot me a message, send me an email. I'm always looking for good things, always interested. Um, I do also write poetry and I perform around town. So let's do the thing. Awesome. So my final question is, if you've been around me, you know I love this question. Um, what is your joy? How are you finding joy, 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 joy? Right now, it's so simple, but we're putting a puzzle together. And that satisfaction of finding that one piece, that one piece you've been looking for, that is like the joy of all being. I know it's so simple. It's like the littlest thing, but it makes us all I so happy. I literally freak it out because you said puzzle, because I put it one together too. I'm freaking out. I'm like, can we do a puzzle block? I just to show you. It's definitely been a work in progress. This is the picture. <gasps> and this is where we're at right now. Oh my God. Oh, that is great. Right? Yeah. We were missing one piece of grass, and it was underneath this monster. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You just, oh no, my that God. Was, we're ready to dance. We're high fiving around the table. We're screaming. <laughs> That's bringing us joy. <laughs> this is another reason why I'm just falling in love with you. I'm like, you said puzzle, and I was like, ah! Yes, yes, yes. I love, yes. A good puzzle. I will tell you all why I love puzzles at another time. Um, Avi, thank you so much. Um, I know I'll be seeing you on the interweb somewhere. Um, again, please support them. Please support what they're doing. Their work is great. Um, you talk about a beautiful spirit. You are that for me constantly, consistently. You, every time I see you face to face, anytime I see you, you just don't change that 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 the smile the love um and that's rare for people like i'm a moody child i'm moody i'm like up and down and all around but you bring so much joy every time i see you so thank you for that um thank you everybody who witnessed this boom 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 we are out catch us wednesday we're doing all the things on wednesday um and we will see you next I don't know. Just check it out. So, all right. Have a good one, Abby. <laughs> all right. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.